Hi guys, so welcome to week 8 of my Los Altos Juiced Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week we are going to be taking on Louisiana Tech. We are 2-2 two and two right now, just coming off a win against UTSA. And the way this season has gone is that we have alternated between disastrous losses and solid wins. And since we had a solid win last week, looks like we're due for a disastrous loss this week. And Louisiana Tech is a better team on paper with better stats. So hopefully we can pull out the victory. And as you guys can see, the starting quarterback is out for three weeks after his injury against UTSA last week. Which really presents a problem for our team because we're not very deep to begin with. So we'll see how that goes. So third and ten, and we're able to stop Louisiana Tech from getting the first down. We get the ball right back. So now we got Kendrick as the backup. He goes to pass. Nice pass to Maxwell. And we are uh, inside the 30-yard line of the opponent. Willie celebrating. Nice job, Willie. Here we go, second and one. Nice cross pattern to Cunningham there. And we get another first down. Enter back to pass, and he is sacked. Not the worst thing in the world, because usually we do better when there's more distance between our ball and the end zone. It's now on third and four. The ball goes high, it's caught, but somehow the computer does not give us the first down. Comes up with the fourth and two, and we go with the audible run. This has worked for us really well in the last two games. Here, the defenders come from the side before we could get to the first down marker. We turn the ball over on fourth down. Now, look. Louisiana Tech gets the ball back, it's 3rd and 6. Quarterback scrambles, and he gets the first down. But, there is a flag. And it's a holding against Louisiana Tech. So huge break for our team, and they basically have to do it all over again. This time 3rd and 12. It's caught, and we prevent the receiver from getting the first down. So fortunate to get the back, ball back here. Kendrick goes to pass, nothing's open, he shakes off one defender and is eventually sacked. Now second and 18, we got a man wide open, it's Maxwell, but he cannot take it to the end zone. So we're setting up a first down inside the 10 yard line, Kendrick goes to pass, nice slant to Cunningham, and it's a touchdown. So great comeback there after the turnover last time, and we are up 7-0. And a fumble! And we pick up the fumble. Nice hit on that receiver there to jar the ball loose. And we get the ball right back. And we got Maxwell wide open again. Kendrick goes to pass. Somehow he passes to the right when I had the stick held all the way to the left. Just a disastrous pass by Kendrick. Lack of accuracy. Lack of quality. Just a terrible pass by Kendrick right there. That was all on Kendrick. Sometimes I make bad decisions. But that one was definitely on Kendrick. Luckily here, we get another holding penalty. Yep, another holding penalty. So that pushes Louisiana Tech back. And brings up a long 3rd and 17. They complete. We stop them well short of the first down. So luckily we get the ball back again. So penalties have really been killing Louisiana Tech. And now Freeman is in the game. I just have lost all my confidence in Kendricks after that horrible pass. And look at this. This time, terrible decision by me. That was definitely not Freeman's fault. Just a terrible decision. Should not have thrown that with the safety coming over. And another interception. So we just cannot solve this turnover problem. We had like three turnovers against UTSA last week. And I think we're already up to three this week. But luckily, Davenport is to pick it off right back. We get the ball near midfield. Freeman again, this time he fits it into Maxwell. Nice catch. One thing about Louisiana Tech is they do have some pretty good DBs with speed. So Maxwell cannot take it to the house every single time when he catches the ball. We have to pretty much work from the 20 to 30 yard line. And we are sacked again. Maxwell's open. And again, they stop him before he can go to the end zone. It's still a very nice completion.
A nice pass here to Kazi on the slant pattern, and we're up 14-0. So we're really taking advantage of Louisiana Tech's holding penalties and their turnovers. Cameron back to pass, it's picked off by Bonner. He's looking to take this one to the house. He takes it all the way to the doghouse with a dive, and we're up 21-0. So Louisiana Tech gets the ball back. Cameron looks to pass. It's picked off by Barrow this time. And we're going to take it all the way. No! The momentum, car momentum carries him out of bounds. So we get the ball back in nice field position. Freeman sees Maxwell behind the defense. Touchdown again. 28-0. Wow. For as many mistakes as we've, as we've made in this game, we are extremely fortunate to be up 28-0. Cameron scrambles here. Nice first down. Another nice completion there, and they pick up some decent yardage with 46 seconds left, so they're really hoping to get a touchdown before the end of the half. And Cameron goes all the way to the end zone, incomplete, 4th and 4, and luckily we are able to hold them to a field goal. So now it's Freeman back to pass. We get Cohen on a nice inside route, and another first down. So LaShawn Freeman has really played well, except for that bad interception decision I made. Nice pass here to Kazi, and he trucks himself into a first down. No one open here, but nice job by Freeman to shake off the defender, but unfortunately bad decision again on my part, and it's another interception. Our fourth interception of the game. Louisiana Tech is driving, but no, it's picked off again! And Bonner's taking it to the- Oh no, they stop him before he takes it to the house. But another turnover for Louisiana Tech, and one thing I noticed is that Louisiana Tech doesn't really use the running game at all uh, in this game that I played, and as a result, that really, plays this in, that, that really plays into my defensive scheme, where we can just sit back in our coverage, and blown coverage here, and it's 35-3. Just a dominating score for a very shaky performance on my part. So luckily we're able to capitalize on the Louisiana Tech mistakes and Louisiana Tech has not been able to capitalize on our mistakes and that's been a big difference in the game. So nice trucking here to get the first down. Cameron scrambles again, but at this point, uh, these scrambles are just too little too late. They would really have to hit some deep balls and get some more interceptions for them to come back into the game. Nice blocking here, and Lee jukes a man to get a first down. Great interception by Bridges there, he catches the ball right before it touches the ground, and we get the ball back again, and another mistake by Louisiana Tech. Freeman has all day to throw, no one's open, he's sacked, but at this point sacks are actually beneficial to us because they take off a lot of time, and now it's 3rd and 18. We're going long, and Maxwell's got it again, and this time he does take it all the way to the house because the defender slipped, and it's 42 to 3. Just unbelievable score given the number of interceptions that we threw. But at this point, I pretty much just put in the second team offense and second team defense. I think the game is uh, clearly decided at this point, and it's a shocking score, especially against a team that has a lot better stats than we do. I think Louisiana Tech is like rated C to C plus across the board. And we're rated D to D plus across the board. And to be able to put up this kind of number, it almost makes me wish that I had scheduled Louisiana Tech as my recruiting game. That way we would have gotten much better recruiting grades for our prospects. But like I said in my previous video, we didn't really lose anybody from that disastrous game against Tulane, so it's all good. And here, I think Louisiana Tech's put in their reserves as well. Uh, our reserves are in. Uh, at this point, it doesn't really make a difference what happens. I just want to prevent injuries to my star players. And Louisiana Tech takes it in for a touchdown. 
and there wasn't really much scoring in the fourth quarter since we had all our reserves in and basically we just uh, run the ball uh, to kill the rest of the clock without having to punch it in or kick a field goal. So that's the end of the game, 42-10. to 10. Uh, Great scoreline, but I think in terms of my own play, I definitely have to improve and cut down on the interceptions. We're just very lucky that Louisiana Tech committed even more mistakes than our team did, and we were able to capitalize on their turnovers much better. So here are the stats. Dominating performance in the passing game. We had four interceptions, but losing the tech had six turnovers. And that was basically the key in this game. Usually any team that has more turnovers than I do is going to have a very difficult time winning. And that's shown here. Kendrick, 7 out of 8 is not bad, but that one interception really bothered me and caused me to put in Freeman. And he had a 4 and 3 day. Not bad. But definitely, I could have cut down on interceptions. Uh, nice day receiving this time. Maxwell got most of the touchdowns, but everybody contributed in a nice way. So that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. And next week, we have Texas State. So we'll try to make it three in a row. See you next time.